Hey, my name is Griffin Shumway. I'm a member of the Vermont Workers' Center, and I live in Wilder. Uh, tonight we heard, and last week I understand that we heard, that there's very little wiggle room in the budget. Uh, and after struggling with the state to get these hearings in the first place, to hear that our voices aren't being heard or recognized as important is a little more than disheartening. I'm here to testify with a personal story about why we need a budget that puts people first, but I'd also like the state to recognize that we also need a process that puts people first. This summer, my stepfather was diagnosed with an advanced stage of prostate cancer. What his doctor recommends for treatment isn't covered by the insurance company, so they've given him the choice of paying for his coverage or my brother's education or our heat or our food bills or the other expenses that let us live lives with dignity. At the same time, the state of Vermont has dared ask me and thousands of other families across the state the same question. What do we value more, our personal health or the health of our families and our communities? Which pieces of our budget will be prioritized and which will be cut? I understand the impression that <clears throat> I was under the impression that with meaningful participation, we can now move from a conversation that asks what can we afford to what do we need? Let me tell you that just like I need an education, my stepdad needs an oncologist, uh, I need a bus to get to work, my neighbor needs heating assistance, and my town needs a community center and a library. So my question for you today is how does the state budget you're preparing meet these needs as well as the needs we heard last week and the needs we're going to hear tonight?